Evening came and we returned to our cottage. Of course, we had to eat after all that manual labour, but there was something else we had to do first. We left today's harvest in the kitchen, and I went into the living room with Sion. So, Sion, let's She nodded obediently and took her seat. I examined the lining of her eyes and the hue of the inside of her mouth and confirmed nothing was particularly out of the ordinary. I took her pulse and blood pressure, and then her temperature. Nothing seemed peculiar here either. Having said that, she suddenly reached for the shoulder of her address. She removed her hand from her shoulder and tilted her head curiously. Good grief. This is why I couldn't deal with airheads. Her expression stiffened. I could see a tinge of red in her face. Of course, it probably wasn't because of her poor health. Just how much of it was because she was naive and how much was intentional? まあ、そういう遠慮をしてるわけじゃないしな。そういう？いや、俺も文で極初歩的な医療技術を聞きかじっただけだからさ。in reality, I wasn't capable of making a genuine diagnosis. The best I could do was follow Alyssa's notes and perform a layman's inspection. She nodded with a smile, her cheeks still a faint blush. Thinly sliced ham and lettuce between bread, vegetable soup, and a lightly seasoned foil roasted salmon. Tonight's dinner was modest, but Xion enjoyed it all the same. She was smiling from start to finish. It was a little embarrassing to be praised by someone sitting right in front of me. I placed some after dinner tea before her. I set down my share and sat on the other side of the table. Sion's tongue was a little sensitive, so she blew on her steaming drink to cool it down. I could have just brewed it cooler to begin with, but it was amusing to watch her do this. It was a guilty pleasure of mine. Hmm? What are you looking at? No, no. Although Sion looked suspicious, her attention quickly returned to her cup. Yama. Our days were uneventful. We mostly spent our time working from dawn to dusk in order to keep food on the table. But she considers such a mundane, everyday life fun. I couldn't help but feel a little sad. She was about to stand, but suddenly stopped. I nearly dropped my cup. She certainly wasn't your ordinary shut-in. 
さっさと入ってきなでも背中や髪を一人で洗うのが大変で一人で洗えるように努力してくれ量は冷凍 She left the living room sounding disappointed. What a troublesome girl. But for the two of us to live together like this, and for me to be willing to wait on her, was this sort of thing inevitable? What about my own feelings? How did I feel about her? When she says or does such provocative things so innocently, I feel like the cage around my heart is falling apart. Although this probably wasn't a bad thing. <laughs> Not in the slightest. From the sound of her breathing, I was certain she had fallen asleep. I stood from the chair beside her bed and dimmed the lights. I considered leaving the room but decided to return to my seat instead. Her breathing was normal, not particularly erratic. She was. fine. I was just worrying too much. Her hand had slipped out from under the comforter. I gently took her hand to put it back under the covers. But suddenly, she squeezed back. It wasn't a particularly strong grip, but it was enough that I couldn't let go. Her petite hand, white as snow, and I silently squeezed back. Her hand was a little cold, but I could certainly feel her warmth.、Mm. Her mouth was moving ever so slightly. Like she was repeating the same words over and over. What was she whispering? As I began to lean in, I suddenly stopped. Even in the darkness, I could clearly see it. A trickle of tears streamed from her closed eye. What could be so sad? Could they be tears shed for someone she once knew? How much sadness is she carrying in her dreams, in her heart? I slowly released her hand. Unable even to wipe her tears away, I turned my back to her. I can't face these sorrows with you just yet, because I'm still unable to deal with my own. Still remember of the soft sensation of her hand from that time. There was no way I could forget. I was incapable of forgetting all the time I'd spent with her. I stared closely at my hands. They were covered in mud, the skin was cracking underneath, and spots of blood were oozing onto the surface. I would have been fine had I worn some work gloves. But I never once considered it. No, I knew I'd be digging such a big hole, so using a shovel would have been the obvious choice. What in the world was I doing? I felt like I'd been asking myself that in my entire life. Except for the time that I'd spent with her. A cold wind felt wonderful on my raw, stinging hands. Shall I return to the past once more? I'll remember everything, from the beginning to the end, so that I can move these hands again. Did I make any mistakes leading up to this day, this very spot? Was there nothing I could have said? Was there anything I should not have said? What was it that I did for you? Let me remember one thing at a time. Slowly closed my eyes.